what we'll do is we'll look at some of the basic permaculture principles. Because principles basically three cards each. are a set of some tools which help you to think, to help you to stimulate ideas, to help you remember what it is you might need to think about in your uh, design. Uh, between you, you have six green cards, which are principles. You have six cards which are bordered in yellow, which are some kind of statement or some kind of saying um, which kind of qualifies and helps you to think about the principle. And then you should have six photographs, which again help you to try and qualify the principle. These are just learning things in gardens. So just have a quick look at that and see if you can imagine what they may be. And the idea is now, this is all up to you collectively to work out where the right cards go. So at this point I'm going to step back and I'm going to allow you to have a discussion to see where you feel the right cards are, which cards go into the right place. So over to you. It might relate to everything gardens because the effect that everything has in the environment can also be translated as a function for a gardener. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe it's still put all your bottles in the same pond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cards were picked for each particular principle, but they are inherently a little bit vague, so they can apply to many, and that's why the conversation can be stimulated. That's why it can allows you to think. Um, uh, you know, to discuss how, how could you move that, how does that photograph apply to all of them and it could potentially, you will yeah. through your creativity work out how to apply to all of them. Mm -hmm. So yes, you're kind of right. Um, I think, yeah. yeah. It's only your imagination mm. that curtails what yield you can get from the system. So, um, so yeah, so the way I use the principles is once I've got something maybe logically mapped out is I'll then look at each principle.